Hello and welcome to Stockwatch, presented by me, Evan Lucas, for Go Market Securities. As always, please have a good read through of the disclaimer on screen. Everything in this video is general in nature. None of it is relied upon as any form of personal advice. Go Market Securities does not know your personal scenario, nor your personal financial goals, and therefore none of it is relied upon as any form of advice at all. It's just general in nature only. Bank earnings season has begun, and NAB this year is the first one off the bat. And we saw a 12.8% decline year on year to 3.48 billion Australian dollars on the first half. Not bad, considering that overall, what they really highlight is the level of competition that is now going on in their mortgage business as a whole. Not surprising, considering that's what they've been screaming about, not just them, but all of the banks, over the last half particularly. There was a 9% increase in business banking, which offset that. But overall, you can't deny that at the moment, competition is huge. And even with their business bank doing that well, it is an exposed part of the market. It is one that is always seen as slightly riskier. And there is a question, therefore, particularly from some analysts, of whether or not the result, therefore, should be championed any further because it's more risky than its peers. Having a look at other metrics, look at net interest margins, went from 177 basis points down to 172. Not surprising, we know that also part of their business bank, although it did well, their personal bank was seeing pressure around term deposit rates and rates having to be given to creditors. They were higher and therefore they did put a downward pressure on net interest margins. But also we did see that the dividend was better than expected at 84 cents, one cent better on this time last year. Most had actually expected to go down. The other thing to highlight was arrears. 90 day arrears is now at the highest it's been in the post COVID world, which is probably what we expected this time last year, rather than for it to be appearing now. And it just shows again, it's a bit of a slow moving beast finance and banking at the moment in terms of how the market is dealing with it. Overall, it was met with you know muted reactions and NAB certainly has now moved itself into second as Australia's big four banks in terms of quality. But at the same time, it is also showing that the stress is there. And overall, it'll probably believe that FY25 will be a pretty challenging year.